Hi, welcome to Val's Visions and Designs. Happy Sunday. Here we go again for another afternoon of crafting. Uh, thank you for coming in. Please let me know when you get here. And if you're watching the replay later, uh, thank you for watching. So today what we're going to be making is kind of a transitional wreath. I have this welcome uh, sign that I got from Personalized by Pam. And I'm going to be using it on a ring board. Uh, I've never done this before. Uh, I've done the ring board before, but I've never put it on with this uh, 10 inch round sign. So it is a 10 inch round sign. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, pan down and we'll get started. Hey, how you doing, sweetheart? Uh, if you would, don't mind. I appreciate it. If you'll sprinkle and, and share the love. So here we go. Maggie is not here today. It's her anniversary. So happy anniversary, Maggie. Hope that you're enjoying your day. Hey, Debbie, how are you doing, sweetie? Good to see you. Hey, Darlene. Um, so I really do love using these Unique in the Creek boards. And the design I'm going to do, basically, you can do on any frame, okay? But I love the clean look that you get when you use these boards. And the price is very economical, too. So I do use it with pipe cleaners. You can do zip ties, but the way I have loaded in my um, ties today is I'm using the two holes on the outer, and it looks like I goofed. I can see where I goofed. Nope. Yep. 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 Oh, no. I don't want to have to redo the whole board. Um, I must have been asleep when I was doing this. What you're going to do is you're going to do the inner and the outer. So let me stop here and fix where I was. So I'm going to do the outer two holes and then I switch to the inner. I wish I had noticed that when I was sitting here waiting to go on. All right, hold tight. That's outer. That's inner. That's outer. That's inner. That's outer. And then this is supposed to be inner. Have you ever had one of those days? Hey, Kathy. Hey, Abnil. How are you doing? Some days, you know, you think you got yourself together and you don't. So I don't know how far I got to go to fix it. So be patient with me, guys. These boards are so much fun. Like I said, I've never used a 10 inch sign uh, with this on the uh, ring board. And I've done it on the character board before, but not the ring board. So again, I'm just loading my pipe cleaners inside two and then the outside two. And so give this good coverage. You'll have 16 ties total. So this will make a nice symmetrical wreath with only 16 pieces. But I am doing two pieces per tie. And I like to do a ruffle and then a woodland ruffle. All right. So let's see how far I got to go to fix it. Or if I just need to start over. <laughs> Welcome in, guys. I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I had fun on the marathon I did yesterday on Facebook. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I plan to be doing more lives on Facebook, I think, through the summer. Um, as we start moving in more into summertime. Hang on, guys. I could probably just take some of these out and do it as we're going around. Maybe that's what I should do. Let's just take some out. really doesn't take long to get the pipe cleaners loaded in here uh, if you get your right pattern going. So let's see. I must have been very tired when I was loading them. And like I said, a lot of people use zip ties. You could actually use zip ties on the design I'm going to show you because I like to batch uh, as I'm going around. I think I've got myself back in line. It looks like I do. Okay. So we have eight ties on the inside. And we have eight ties on the outside. I'll keep an eye on them to make sure I don't mess any more up. Hey, Sherry, how are you? Okay, so what we're going to be doing is I have, this is a yellow fabric mesh. It's a golden yellow. Uh, so it's more your sunflower yellow. Because when you look at the sign, you've got a lot of yellow and you've got a lot of turquoise. So those were the two colors I wanted to pull. But you could pull uh, the whites out of here. You could pull the reds. So with the ribbons, I decided to pull my reds. So I'm using a white and natural daisy. And then I have a red uh, checked because I wanted to pull that red in. 
I really wished I would have had something in this pretty pattern right here. A really pretty ribbon would have been great. Um, but then I'm going to use this kind of a pale light blue sunflower with a sunflower cabana stripe. And I've cut these at 14 inches because it is kind of a flat wreath. It's like a, a you know, it's like a boxwood frame if you were to do it from Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do is just carry my favorite pattern, guys. Um, I started correcting on the wrong end. <laughs> You're probably right, darling. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start off with a ruffle. And I cut these at 20 inches. This is one of my favorite designs, guys, to do a ruffle and then to do a woodland ruffle. And then I'm just going to flip flop back and forth on the uh, colors. Thanks, those of you that came in and watched me yesterday. I sure do appreciate it. Again, I'm going to make three little curls, very tight curls. And then right here, the same thing. And then make that ruffle. So there gives my two pieces. So those are the two colors. And that's the way that I'm going to load these in all the way around. I do want to start on the inner row because I just think that's a little bit easier. Uh, you're not having to pull over the mesh. So I think when I have the yellow land on top. Wait a minute. Where's my rest of my pot cleaner? It's going to be one of those kind of days, guys. Get off to a rough start. All right, there we go. I think when I have the yellow on top, I'm going to pull in the red and the white. And then I'll flip flop it for the others. Um, I hope that we don't have any internet issues today. I came in and it said something about having trouble um, connecting. I hope that's not going to be a problem. I've left my craft room door open. I didn't have any issues yesterday uh, on Facebook. So here's kind of how this set will look. And again, we're just doing the inner, but you see how good a coverage you get, even when you just go with one set. Uh, I hope so, Casey. I hope it's going to be a pretty color scheme. All right, so the next round, I'm going to do the yellow. And again, this is a sunflower yellow fabric mesh. Uh, I love using fabric mesh. It's always my favorite. Um, this one is not the newer fabric mesh. It is the old fabric mesh. And I love to take that and wood burn it with other pieces. And then I'm just going to make my woodland ruffle this time with this piece. And again, I fold it real tight to help keep those corners in. And then flip it around. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Real tight curls. This is the uh, same kind of design I did on my winter wreath that I did on the ring board, but I didn't add a sign to that one. So I'm excited to see how it's going to look with the sign. And I personalize it by Pam. She does some pretty signs. I always love getting stuff from her. She is such a sweet lady and she's so fast about getting everything shipped out to me. All right, so when I have that set, I'm going to pull in this light blue and, of course, our sunflowers. This is, again, kind of one of those uh, one of those designs you do to start off through summer, but it can carry to fall because, you know, this is that kind of year where you're not quite sure what to make. You hate to start making fall already. You want to make some other things. All right, so that's how those two will look. I think it's going to be a pretty color combination. Um, yes, yes, personalize it by Pam. Thank you, Casey, for putting in her link. Uh, I've gotten a lot of sign from Pam over the years. Uh, she's been so good and so fast to get things shipped out. So we do have some chances for some severe weather. Uh, I was checking the weather channel just a few minutes ago. Uh, so, Casey, I don't know if you guys have uh, any weather warnings out or not, but it's kind of looking dark here, guys. Hopefully, we won't lose signal because of the weather. But uh, I did finish up last Sunday's uh, wreath on Tuesday morning because I felt so bad because my, my live just kind of got cut off right there at the end. And I didn't get to finish doing what I was doing. <laughs> All right. So, again, I'm just going to pop both of these two in. How many of you guys have ever used a ring board? It's it's very similar to, 
to a uh, just a 15 inch flat frame. It's just going to have such a clean look on the back uh, when you get done. That's one of the reasons I love using it too. It's just nice and clean. You don't see all the wires and as much of your mechanics. So I think that should work really well. I said I uh, and I wanted to pull as much of this uh, red as I could but I didn't want it to be the predominant color. I wanted it to be more of the accent color. So I just kind of pinched those in the middle. Uh, you think it's going to look okay with the ribbon combo, Sherry? I hope so. Uh, I know Darlene popped on yesterday while she was at work. Thank you, Darlene, for doing that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to plan on doing some more lives on Facebook. Uh, mainly because my uh, YouTube ratings have just kind of really fallen. So sometimes you just have to make a change with the times uh, to keep things going. And so that's what uh, Casey and I have talked about doing. All right, I got a little pull right there. Even though I wood burned it, it would burn all these pieces. And I think this will be a real pretty color combination. So what are you guys working on this week? Uh, you've never used the ring board. It is really a fun and easy. I mean, you saw how fast I was able to reload those pipe cleaners. And you don't have to worry about them sliding around. So I don't have to stop and glue the ties because I can never get my ties to stay on tight. I just don't have enough strength, I think, when I use a 14 inch. But you see how easy this is to load and then it stays. It doesn't go anywhere, and it's really easy, too, when you add your sign and your embellishments uh, because you've got your holes right there. You can always go through a set of holes to tie everything on. Uh, it's, it's just easy. It's a very easy, simple layout. All right. And, of course, next week being Memorial Day weekend, we won't be live. Uh, I don't know that I have any big plans. Have you guys got anything planned special for Memorial Day weekend? Uh, it's uh, it's going to be hot. <laughs> I know that is super hot here already. Uh, we've had some 90 degree weathers, but I think this rain that's coming in now is supposed to cool it back off just a little bit. All right, so I'll pull these ribbons out after we get all the way around, but I think those are going to look good. I love this uh, pale blue. I've used it so many times for a cute little uh, another cute little dog sign that I do, but I think that's going to look really pretty. It's not turquoise, but it's a light enough blue that it's still going to make it look to be turquoise. So I think that'll, that'll work. I hope, I hope that'll work. So again, I'm just flip flopping back and forth, back and forth. Uh, you didn't realize it was Memorial day. Yeah. These holidays, they sneak up on you before you know it. Uh, and I know the boys are getting out of school this week. Casey's boys are getting out of school. Uh, it's summer here. It's already here. It just seems like each season goes by so fast. All right, again, just one, two, and three. This is so soft and so nice to work with. I really love fabric mesh. So easy to, to do with different um, deco mesh colors up underneath it. Uh, I like to wood burn another color under that. I think that's a fun way to use it too. But you see how fast this will go. Uh, just, like I guess, in no thinking about putting in your ties, you're just going to do eight and eight. And if you wanted to make your design even larger, you could actually do poofs. And I may do that on one of my upcoming race. You can do poofs in the outer and use a zip tie to get some additional width on this board so it's very flexible lots of different ways you can use it and like i said i've never put the sign in the middle before so we'll just have to see how that goes it looked like it would work um i know i've seen other crafters use it but look i think that's going to sit in there really pretty um kathy you use both wire and UTC for your wire frames. You loop each pipe cleaner around the two wires and they stay well. You really have to do that. You have to, to do an extra little tie around there to get them to stay in place. I've always just 
that's been my major thing I dislike about is using the flat frames from Dollar Tree is just trying to get them to stay tight. Um, the one I did yesterday was the elevated frame. And even though I glued a lot of those ties, they still would shift around and move. And I hate when they shift around and move on you. So let's just keep on rolling. And I'm throwing them on the floor. Um, how can you tell if you're getting the old fabric mesh or the new? Okay. If your fabric mesh says, if it has the item number XB, which is uh, <laughs> generic for extra bad, that is the old fabric mesh. Okay. If it says the wide striped fabric mesh or check fabric mesh, that's the new fabric mesh. It's a higher quality very, very thick, has a lot of body. So just know if you're looking for this type, you just want to look for the item number XB. Uh, I find that this is very good to work with, even though it is that extra bad. It's made in Korea instead of China, but it's very functional. Uh, it works really good with other mesh colors up underneath it. So I don't know that I've ever put turquoise and yellow together before, guys. I think it's going to look okay, though. I kind of like it. I mean, I think that's going to really pull the yellow out of that sign. And then when we separate the ribbons, it'll really show off that red, too. So I'm thinking it's going to work. Uh, Casey likes Pioneer Women, Pioneer Women decorations. Uh, I know I got her some cookware for Christmas. And I don't know if you can tell it. You probably couldn't, but it says Frontier Woman. This may not focus uh, right here on the sign. Frontier Woman Flower Market. So it's a super cute sign, and you can't go wrong with a little truck. That's always a good one to use. Uh, I just find that it's helpful to if you're going to do the ring board, if you start on the inside first uh, and then move to the outside. That way you're not having to go over and in between the mesh you have on the outside. Or let's see, I got to reverse it. So this time it's going to be this one. Um, the colors definitely look like Pioneer Women. It really does. <laughs> it really does. Uh, I guess Casey had to, had to uh, help me on that today because I was thinking it, I don't know, for some reason I was thinking Frontier Woman was the name of the stuff that she liked, but she reminded me that it wasn't. <laughs> so it's pioneer women stuff that she likes, but this is all those same colors. So if you like that kind of pattern, this would be something that you would really enjoy making and having in your home and being on a ring board. It'll be nice and smooth. So you could put it on an interior wall as well and it's not going to scratch a wall or or a door because of that smooth backing and then all you're really going to see on the back again is just the smoothness of the plastic which is very durable and waterproof hold on that looks way crooked my yellow is crooked let me put that in again so i don't have a off side of my wreath Again, this is just the inside that we're doing. So we have eight on the inside. Let's have them up for the red. And eight on the outside. Easy, easy. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, so, so, what, uh, so like I said, next week we won't be live. And then I'm going to switch my lives on Sundays to Facebook, I think for the month of June. Uh, of course, I'll upload them on YouTube after the fact, but I just think I've really got to do something um, to kind of get jumpstart stuff again to get through the slow season. I mean, things will pick back up uh, when we start making fall. Uh, people kind of have more things to do in the summer. And I don't know, I think the economy may be affecting this a lot, too. Hey, Vanita, how are you? Hey, Diane. Diane, I got my cup. Here it is. My Val's cup. Love this cup. You're my sweetheart. I think about you every time I get it out. So I did go ahead and start kind of working on some fall uh, 
been thinking about <laughs> what you do during slow season is you organize your craft room and you start planning your fall and your Christmas designs because we know Christmas is always our one of our busiest seasons and uh, I make the uh, and make and sell a lot of the uh, unique in the creek angels so I probably could start making heads and kind of getting some of those painted and cut uh, so I can make them a lot faster when it comes time to do them. It's amazing how fast the seasons just seem to fly by. You, you just started making Easter before you know it. It's summer, and then you're right back into the fall again. So that's always amazing. Thank you, Diane. I, I think this is going to work. Like I said, I think what I'll do is I'll punch the holes just like I would if I was going to put it on a metal frame. I'll punch four holes and then we can tie it right in but I do I think that's gonna work guys what do y'all think we pull out these ribbons and you can see all the different colors we got our daisies and we have our sunflowers going on uh, and then I have one ribbon that I'm thinking about using for the bow um, that should that's kind of similar to this pattern it's not the same, but it's kind of similar. So I think that should work. All right. So now I, you see it's easy. You can get to these ties because they're going to come out a little bit from your ruffles. So these I went ahead and made my little bundles ahead of time. So I've just got to figure out where the best place is to start. I just make my little bundle with my little zip tie and pop those together. And then I just got to add in my ribbons. Uh, Abnil, how you been doing? I haven't seen a lot of you lately, but I hope your your health's doing okay. Uh, I know sometimes Abnil has a lot of allergies, and I worry about her. Let's see, I need the sunflower. Hey, uh, Barb, hey, how are you? Good to see you. So glad that you're here today. Sherry, I do too. I think the economy is really affecting resales. Um, I know that all the sales are slow and Etsy is encouraging us to continue to run sales. Um, and, and that's about the only time anything is selling for me is when there's a sale. Uh, you know, I used to have really pretty good patriotic sales, but that just hasn't happened this year. Um, so I do believe the economy is affecting everything a lot. I mean, with gas prices at four dollars a gallon i mean who's got extra money for luxuries you know you just really don't let's see i need to pay attention to what goes on top but even if you don't it's okay i mean in the in the overall fact of things it all blends together so if i don't get my color combinations perfect it won't matter uh it all blends together when it gets up here and by the time you get the sign and you get the bow you don't even hardly see all that stuff uh yes some sundays for the month of june i'm just gonna try it out uh i'm gonna go back to my um facebook business page and do my lives there and then i can upload them uh on my youtube channel uh, I just want to see if I can get a little bit more followers coming back to watch me again. I've been live only on YouTube for a year now. And uh, like I said, things have just really slowed down on my YouTube channel. And I, I'm at a loss. Uh, I said part of it is the season, I'm sure. Um, part of it is the economy. But I've also just got to try to get myself out there. So you could... To save ribbon, these outside pieces at 13. But you see, you need that full 14 inches on the inside because this dips down so low. So if you wanted to do that, you could either come back and trim these, which I may do, trim these a little bit shorter or cut the outside just a little bit shorter. Uh, that's the only thing that I see right now that I would probably change. Uh, is just is just that just change the length from the inside to the outside um thank you barb i like these colors too i do like these colors and it's just so fast i mean this guys we'll put this wreath together in no time because i've done a lot of the prep work we were talking about that last night on the marathon 
um, about how, how, how nice it is when people take the time to do all of their prep work before they actually get on their live. I mean, I don't mean to sound bad, but if I watch somebody on a live, I really don't want to watch them cut mesh or cut ribbons. I want to watch them make the design. So, uh, you know, I think it's important to have your prep work done. And uh, I think that you'll get uh, a lot more people watching. I try to be prepared when I get on mine. Um, gas is insanely expensive. You're thankful. Thankfully, a two car household again. But now with the gas prices makes you question that decision. I know uh, my son traded in his truck to get a more economical uh, economical car uh, because he commutes back and forth and the, uh, has about a 30 mile commute one way each uh, so that's 60 miles a day and gas prices were just killing him with that truck. So I guess I cannot blame him for making that change. <clears throat> Let's see, I need a yellow on top. Now these are kind of thinner mesh. That's why I'm adding two per tie. If you had, I did do another design guys on the flower board. And if, if it works, I'll bring it to you and show it to you. But I did kind of the pancake style that I've done before, but I used 30 inch ruffles and uh, I've got it across the room. I'm waiting on some ribbon to come in for that one. And I think that would be a way to use just 12 pieces of mesh because at this rate, we've got, got to figure out ways to uh, make our supplies stretch a little bit further. So, uh, darling, you watch more lives on Facebook, but you made the exception to watch me. Thank you. I, I guess there's still just more viewers and more people uh, on Facebook. I'm not sure if, if YouTube is always as fond of the the lives as much so as they are just a, you know, an uploaded video. Um, so uh, that makes a difference. I mean, if I can do uploads, that tends to be more what people on YouTube want to see. Uh, less of the, uh, you know, the conversation and our, and our getting to talk to each other and, you know, just kind of have our Sunday little visit. So we can do that on Facebook just as easily as we can here. So let's just plan on that. Uh, when I come back after Memorial Day weekend, y'all just look for me. And then any of y'all will still get to see the upload. If you don't come and watch the live, that's fine. Uh, I'll still have the replay here too. Um, uh, you're a YouTube watcher, Yvette. I, I'm a YouTube person myself. Um, I do too. I mean, I tend to go and watch YouTube, um, but there's a lot of people that don't. So I guess by not going live on Facebook and just showing my YouTube um, videos, that's not helping my channel grow because uh, I'm just not getting new followers. So I just know I need to be in two places. And the best and easiest way to be in two places is live there and upload here. <laughs> so yeah, two o'clock. Thank you, Casey, put in my business page on my Facebook. So y'all like and follow that. And uh, like I said, I'll still upload it like I did yesterday. I uploaded yesterday's live. So um, you'll still get to see it if you don't come to my lives. But uh, I think uh, Yvette, I do. I'm like you. I prefer, I prefer YouTube. It's just my favorite. But it's not everybody else's favorite. Um, I think Facebook is still the most popular social media right now. So you have to kind of go with that. Guys, we've only got two more bundles and we'll have all of the mesh in. So again, 16 ties. So that saves you mesh. And because I'm going to set that sign right in the middle, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about adding a crossbar. So I won't be using more mesh that way either. So we're going to make this much more economically than some of my wreaths. And uh, like I said, I'm anxious to show you the layout that I'm working on for the other. Uh, I just love these boards. They're very versatile. 
so many ways you can use them uh, other than just flowers. I mean, they're perfect wreath boards. They really do. They work really well for wreaths. Uh, if you want to see a Pacific technique, you look for it on YouTube. Exactly. Me too. Me too. That's where we go, right? We go to YouTube to look up how to do something, go live on both at the same time. I used to do that, Camille, and I just don't have um, the greatest internet service. We're kind of on the outskirts of Auburn. So whenever I was doing the streaming on the two before, uh, I kept freezing. I was having all kinds of trouble. So I picked YouTube. And like I said, I've been on here for a year. And uh, I, I do really good through fall and Christmas. And then things just kind of, whoop. <laughs> things just kind of go. All right, there we go. Last piece is coming in right here. And that is easy. I love putting the two pieces together, too. Because uh, that makes it real simple. You don't have to fight with the pipe cleaner. You just throw it on there. It's all put together with all the ribbon and deco mesh cut. How long would you say it will take to put together? This one, let's see, we've been on 30 minutes. Uh, of course, I didn't, I did some of this in advance. I would say as long as you don't go crazy with it, you can make one of these complete with the sign, a bow, hour and a half. Uh, that's what I would think, hour and a half. Am I going to start my private group again? Not right now. Uh, I, I just, I, I'm not sure about that. I might at some point in the future. All right, so you see how you kind of need that length on these ribbons, especially if our sign is going to sit right in the middle. We want these ribbons to pop, but I love that the sign is not going to block any of the ribbons because you've got all this right here in the center to balance that sign. So I kind of, I think this could work. Like I said, I've never done it. Uh, I wanted to show it to you guys first. Some of my ribbons are kind of gotten stuck. I think that's going to be a really easy layout, a fun, fast read if you wanted to make something very quickly. Of course, I would burn my pieces because um, I'm doing ruffles, but if you don't wood burn, you know, you could make it even faster. All right, so that's got that, guys. How fast was that? Uh, let me hold it up real quick. I love the colors. What do you guys think about the colors? That kind of looks like Pioneer Woman, doesn't it? I really wanted the checked uh, red and white uh, ribbon, but I didn't have any of that. I'm making myself use what I have in my craft room. But look how nice and thin. So you could probably still get this in a four inch box um, to ship it. So it's really going to be good and economical to ship too. Because we know shipping's gotten ridiculous as well. All right. So what I thought was we could put the sign right in the middle. And then make a nice little bow, a bottom bow. And then I've got, uh, just to keep it kind of an economical a uh, very economical wreath. I have a couple of these. These came from Michael's. They were $1.99, and I think I got a 50% off of that. So you could pop a few of these in the ties to give a little bit more color. Uh, I also just pulled over some of my leftover daisies. Um, these were leftover from what I used for spring. And then I bought this bundle at Michael's. It was on sale half off. So it's got some of the sunflowers, geraniums, <laughs> geraniums, the red geraniums, the little blue pansies in there. And that will really pop against all this. So this is the ribbon that I found in my stash. It's not exactly, exactly, but it's kind of that flowery pattern. So, you know, I was thinking that could look cute in the bow. Um, but let's go ahead and see how easy we can attach this sign. Because I'm excited to see how easy this will work. If I need a bigger pipe cleaner, let's try the 12-inch pipe cleaner. So, let's just see if this will work. I said, this one's a new one. So, we're going to just try it and see. I'm going to go back and re-watch some stuff. I kind of missed that. Diane, 
Uh, you really need some business coaching help. Oh, okay. I understand that. I think Debbie was wanting some of that too. All right. So I'm going to take my, the little punch hole punch, the metal hole punch, and I'm going to punch right up top. Let's see if that will be big enough for a pipe cleaner to fit through it. Now, when you have a unique in the creek board, you've got to double up your pipe cleaner so you can run them through the holes and then twist them together. So you've got to have the two pieces. And I think that should be enough length to go through. So let's just go ahead and use these. I'm going to be safe and put four in. You might could get away with two, but I like my signs to be nice and secure. Again, this is a 10 inch round sign. And I may have some aqua color we could use on this aqua color. That might look better than the white. So let me also let me get a couple of red. I try to match if I'm going to use pipe cleaners. I know a lot of people use wire. Uh, I generally end up hurting myself on wire. So I avoid using wire if at all possible. All right, so I'm going to do two red for these two holes and then aqua for the other. Like I said, I think we can get this together pretty fast. Um, so I'm just going to add a sign, a bow, and some flowers, guys. That's really all I'm going to put. So I've used basically, um, here's how much mesh I have left. So you use pretty much a whole roll of each one. So this fabric mesh is like $8, and I think this one may have been $4. So we got about $12 worth of mesh uh, in it. And then the flowers were all on sale. Uh, Pam sign it's you know it's probably the the signs are probably usually the most expensive part uh, a lot of times if you if you're making wreaths um, sometimes these different uh, sign makers will have you know if you spend fifty dollars you get free shipping I always like to look for free shipping when I can get free shipping thank you Yvette thank you Debbie <laughs> I think it's gonna work like I said, I think we can bring out the red with the uh, flowers, too. All the pretty flowers. All right. So let me find my top. I seldom remember to look for the hanging holes. So you find on the outside, you'll find two holes together uh, right on that outside. Actually, there's four right here. So you can pick any of these to be your hanger. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use these two. So I'm just going to put in a pipe cleaner and I use it for my hanger. So we'll just load up in here. All right. And I'm just going to twist these two together. And then, of course, you can make it as long or short as you want to. And then just kind of push the remainder up. And now I've made myself a little hanger for it. So let me get it where it's going to be straight. And we're just going to go right through the mesh, right to the holes. The ring board is a little bit simpler to do. Um, but I still have to kind of pull it off the table, guys, to see the shadows. Or you can get your... Your... Uh, uh, what's our thing called? <laughs> this little thing. Uh, to pop, That's what I'm going to do. Let's just punch that right up through the hole. That's always the simplest way. So I just punch that up where it comes through. Of course, you'll have to do this for, you know, two different pipe cleaners. But it's, it's simple enough. Uh, like I said, I may be doing too many. I'll just pull that back through. You probably could just do two uh, places on the sign, but I wanted to be sure that I had a really good grip on it. I'll do two for now, and then we'll see how well that holds. I'm looking to see where my where my thing popped up, and I don't see it. 
because I pulled it right up out of the mess. Let's try that again. Let's go right here. There we go. We'll go right through here. So this could be the most time consuming part right here. But it'll give you such a good grip. Oh, and I lost one. Like I said, some days what can go wrong will go wrong. Murphy's Law. Isn't that right? Murphy's Law. I'm just going to try this again. Poke back up. There we go. Now I think I got it. You guys probably can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> hey, Brittany, how are you? Good to see you. Uh, working on the phone, but not TV. Okay, so was something freezing up? Like I said, we had some problems last Sunday. I just don't want it to shut off on me uh, again this Sunday. So we've got the door to my craft room open today just for that very reason. All right, so that one will tuck in right there. And then I'll just twist it. I like how secure this will get it to. And then, of course, once you have it twisted, you just push these little ends back down in through the hole. That way it keeps your back nice and smooth. And everybody doesn't see your mechanics. So our ribbons are still showing. I lost one. There we go. And we'll pull it over here. I think it might just be faster this time just to do it through the holes without trying to use the threader. So I'm just going to thread in one part and thread in the other, I think. Let's do one threader. There we go. Oh, we got some rain. Casey, are you guys getting any rain? We haven't had a lot of rain, that's for sure. Not a lot of rain at all. All right, I think I've got that down. I don't want to squish the mesh too much. And honestly, I think the two ties is plenty. I don't think it's necessary to do all four. So I would definitely not use these two. Um, I think that there's it's plenty tied enough with just the two. I'm trying to watch my time, guys. I'm always trying to be respectful of your time. I'm just going to fluff these little pieces back up. And then we'll tuck the bow down here. I'm going to take these out because we're not going to need these. The two holds it down tight enough, I think. If I change my mind after I'm putting it all together, I'll let you know. But I believe just the two is plenty. Because it's not going to go anywhere. I said I was going to show you guys a trick on a bow that I watched Lori make. But when I was practicing it, I don't think I've got it completely down. <laughs> She made a little center loop and she did it on the easy bow maker and I did it. I managed to do it, but I don't know if I'm confident enough to teach how I did it yet, but you could put just a real simple small bow down here, or you could make it a really nice long cascading bow. Um, I was playing around with this one. So my tails aren't really even, but this might be, plenty big again especially if you're trying to cut back a little bit on supplies so I just used a little zip tie and made two loops and two loops and that center loop and I promise you once I get that figured out and I can teach it um, I'll show you how I did that but I'm just going to get another pipe cleaner and we'll just go right back down through again so let me find Let's do, let's do a little bit longer pipe cleaner. So I'm just going to kind of go through that little loop because I didn't add myself a pipe cleaner when I was making this today. 
and just wrap it around the back. Um, you love the blue and the yellow. I do too. I like it. Hey, Pam. Thank you, sweetie. I think it's going to be super cute. And I love bringing that blue stripe in here too. Um, so that could be all you would need for a bow. Or you could go and make it a little bit bigger uh, or do two. Um, I'm just going to pop this on just for fun because I'm kind of thinking I want to use that other ribbon too. But I'm not certain. All right, so I'm just going to pull that down. I like the red and the blue, too. I think that's a nice color combination. Flip it over, and I'll probably run this one through a tie, too. Uh, but I'll just twist it around for right now real quick because I don't want to lose your lose you guys. I know uh, we were talking yesterday about people's attention spans. You lose uh, people's attention after about 30 minutes there. You pretty well lost their attention. <laughs> All right. So that would just be a quick, easy bow right down here at the bottom. Of course, you know me, I probably will do a bigger bow, but depending on what you're trying to keep your cost uh, on, on what you're doing and then just pop a couple of little flowers around it. I love the pretty yellow sunflowers. So we could pop yellow sunflowers in. We could pop some of the blue. I like these pretty blue flowers. Definitely pop in some of the red. This is really a good transition wreath, guys, um, that you can list for now that will carry through fall. Because as long as you have your sunflowers and you start pulling in these different colors that aren't just predominantly summer, uh, you could get away with that. But that's pretty much a quick and easy wreath, guys. I mean, it, it, it took us 50 minutes. I mean, I didn't make a big ginormous bow, um, but you really don't have to unless you want to. I mean, you know, how cute is that? So... With the sign and the mesh and the ribbons, I mean, I'm thinking I might have $34 invested, $35, and it measures, hang on, it is measuring right at, right at 24 inches wide, and it's probably, like I said, you could definitely get it in a four-inch box. So a 24 by four and you got a cute little fast wreath, guys. And I think it's stinking cute. <laughs> I think it's really cute. That was quick, guys. I'm so, I think I'm still worn out from yesterday. <laughs> so uh, let me come over here and say, hey, guys, I love y'all so much. It is super cute. Uh, you, yeah, am I getting the storm that you got yesterday? Uh, we need the rain. We are so behind on rain. We really, really need it. Casey gets all the rain. So that's our unique in the creek. Look how cute. It'll be all nice and pretty on the back. I'll tuck all those pipe cleaners in. We got our hanger uh, and no questions about it. It's up. It'll stay put. Uh, super cute, cute, cute. So again, guys, next week, no live. And then for the month of June, um, I'm going to be live on my Facebook channel, so y'all look for me on my Facebook channel, and uh, I may try to do, I'm still, I'll still do some uploads, don't get me wrong, uh, on my YouTube channel, I just may do the lives on Facebook for a while. So y'all have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend, I love each one of you very much, and I appreciate your support so much, bye everybody.